And what our ancestors did when they were brought here was to know that their brother, their sister, whoever they had been chained up with was not their enemy. Mm -hmm. That whatever is happening to you is happening to me. Mm -hmm. And so we have to join together mm -hmm. and know that from this day forward, I say that we keep in mind that whatever is happening to you is happening to me. I say. And that we set our minds to be as our song says, Stay on free, mm -hmm. our shame. Our shame. Yes. And that when we leave this place in honor of our ancestors, which is only due them after all of what they did, all of what they endured, mm -hmm. that God blessed them to have the power mm -hmm. that they would have the seed of the seed of the seed of the seed of their children, mm -hmm. strong enough to stand here today and remember them. We give thanks. We praise God. Yes. We say, I share to all those who endured and suffered here at Kingsley Plantation. We pray that your spirits be at rest. We pray that from this day forward the truth be told. We pray that we get the knowledge of your story and that we be the living vessels to be your voice. We thank you for all that you harvested, all that you built, all that you gave, and all that you prayed that this day would come even before yeah. our century yeah. of our existence even yes. began. Yeah. We thank you thank right you. now for these monuments that yeah. stand yeah. as a testimony yeah. to the knowledge, to the mathematical skill, yeah. to the engineering ability yeah. of our ancestors yeah. that we know is still in our DNA, yeah. that is still yet in our loins yeah. for the children that have yet to be born. Yeah. We thank you, God, right now that you bless them that they use those skills to no longer be exploited, but to be uplifted. That they build for themselves and they build for their communities and they build for their families and they protect those communities, those families, those buildings. We pray that the blood will stop pouring in the streets of Blacksonville. We pray that the blood will stop pouring in the streets of Charleston. We pray that the blood will stop pouring in the streets of Burton. We pray that the blood will stop pouring along this coast called the Gullah Geechee Nation. We pray for all our children everywhere. We pray for our elders everywhere that taught us that mother wit better than book knowledge. But we thank you that we had the book knowledge and the mother wit together. Yes. That you power us with dente and that we still use common sense. But know who we know. And we thank you that we be Gullah Geechee, Black Bull, Anointed Chillers. Amen. 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 And hallelujah. And hallelujah. Yes. 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 just say a few words from the from the bottom of my heart everyone I want to welcome you all I know for some of you this has been a long journey it hasn't been easy for you to get here financially time wise but think of how symbolic that that is when you think about the people that are our ancestors who made this journey Many of them 377 miles on foot or by watercraft. So the symbolism of this site is more than just a museum. It really is a celebration of the inherent desire to be free. It is a testimony that people were able to create sustainable communities and to work within the larger system. There are many tales of bravery and courage, and perhaps one of the reasons why this is so important to our communities is that for generations, our history has been in song and in oral tradition. What was missing to make that a complete circle is the sights and the visual memory so that people could say, this was the church 
that spawned this man or this woman who went on to do something great. So we do honor the ground upon which they shed their tears, sweat, and blood. Now today, many times I greet groups here, it's always an honor, and often I come as Captain Francisco Menendez. He was a leader of the militia here, and often have referred to as the mayor. His leadership skills were beyond question because he was appointed captain at the age of 24. They defeated on this site the British Army, the British Navy, and the top forces of the British Empire at the time, their version of the Green Berets, the Scotch Highlanders, on this site. And yet, 247 years ago, in retrospect, we realized that the first defeat of the British Army was not at Bunker Hill. It was not in the French and Indian War. It was right here. And who were they fighting? They were fighting people of many different colors who were all defending their freedom. To me, freedom is about having choice and options and decisions about where you want your life to go. There have been many people of African descent that were free and technically were still belong to someone because this is a, a internal concept. But in terms of freedom, how tragic it would be to lose freedoms that have been so hard fought for. When, you, when your feet touch the ground here, realize that there were 100 um, settlers of Fort Mose. They were from many different tribes. They spoke many different languages. And maybe we should ponder that for a second because those of us who are of African descent, how can we think with one mind when we are from many minds? But we can certainly think from the same heart. Ponder this, and I want to speak to some of the younger people about this, but our skin is 1% of our body. And yet, for the last 2,000 years, that 1% of us has dictated the policies of many governments. So, how do we get past this? How do we integrate the fact that there were red and black Seminoles? It hit me one day like a ton of bricks that the Seminole Wars, the height of them, were 100 years after the battle at Fort Mose. These were the descendants of the same people who had struggled to be free. If there had not been those people, there may not have been the valiant struggle of the Seminoles. If those people had not fought so courageously, perhaps there would not have been a James Weldon Johnson or an A. Philip Randolph. Now, we can honor and celebrate those people as we must, but perhaps what we should also do is make sure that future generations know the importance of their sacrifice and why it meant so much to them.